one thing I forgot to mention ear protection you only got two ears unfortunately I've been to enough concerts in my life way more than anybody should actually go I'm already half deaf it ain't gonna hurt me all that much and I don't have any of the big earmuffs I don't I don't have any earplugs at all actually so I guess I'm just gonna have to do without so next episode we'll learn sign language I'm kidding but yeah put your ear protection in eye protection respirator gloves however next time I buy gloves I'm gonna buy the kind that allow me to actually touch the screen because these don't I'm mad paid like 14 bucks for these damn it so let's get started Remember what I said in the first one about bad editing? There you go. So I thought for a second, I thought, well, since I got the cutting disc on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this thing off real quick. Still, wear your eye protection and your gloves. Scared the dog. It's kind of funny. Ah. like I'm gonna have to get my flabby butt on the ground to do this oh joy oh rapture well let's see what I can do here <coughs> All right, I think we got this figured out. I tried to figure out how to mount the damn phone first before I do anything else. Well, in case you didn't see that, it's an old tire jack, an old car jack. We're gonna use that to mount the phone. And by God, if it don't work perfectly, No laughing at the fat guy. Laugh all you want, I can't hear you, I don't give a shit. Uh, let's see. Where are we cutting here? Uh, we gotta cut there. I'm gonna get this handle off of here. It is encumbering to our mission success? I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass. There we go. Oh, 
man, there's four of them. Oh, I got three. applied physics on that last one remember if you apply enough physics anything will go your way all right well I will take the time to grind these down to flat later right now it's time to go ahead and change discs out Get the respirator on and start grinding some of this nasty, nasty rust here. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better what we're talking about. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Oh, I need fell anyways. Hi everybody. How you doing? Alright, as you can see. That's bare metal. I've actually started this project, just did some test grinding, just to see how bad it actually was. I don't plan on taking all of the rust off of here. And on using the two discs that I showed you, I also want to try a little sandblasting, some little amateur sandblasting. There's a couple videos on YouTube already about how to turn uh, an air gun into a sandblaster. Okay? It looks pretty simple. I'm going to try it. See if I have similar results. If I do, awesome. If I don't, too bad. I'll figure something else out. In the meantime, yeah, hey, look at that. The fat guy did a sit-up. Shut up. In the meantime, see if you can see him. Check that out. going all over the place now in the butt head all right well anyways so we're gonna get started on uh, changing out the disc we'll be right back and we're back through the magic of editing actually I just pushed the damn pause button I'm not gonna edit these don't like them don't subscribe don't click yes or like whatever but this is only video number two actually technically it's video number three <laughs> the first video is from six years ago fourth of july a bunch of me and friends got together and um well we decided to have ourselves a little mad minute if you don't know what a mad minute is it's a lot of guns a lot of bullets a lot of pew a lot of bang for a minute or so yeah so here's over we got our wire wheel i can't remember if i said if i was going to do the wire wheel first or the black disc first but i'm sure i said one or the other anyways so we got the wire wheel on we're going to see how well it does on some of this rust and paint right here yeah it's a nasty job somebody's got to do it I'll be right back. I just realized I don't have my respirator on. So now I need to go look like a low rent Darth Vader. Be right back. Hi everybody. David Vader here. Darth's uh well stupid little brother. Yeah. So we're gonna do some stuff here now. Hopefully it works. Hopefully I don't die. I ain't gonna die. Have fun. Watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hear all the other YouTubers say that, so I figured I should too. 
I'm not sure how this YouTube thing works. Something about if I get a whole bunch of views, they send me some money or something. I don't get it. I'm just doing this for the hell of it. I guess if I make a buck or two, I'm not going to complain. Until tax season. I already pay enough in taxes. And that's my political rant for the day. Alright, here we go, folks. In three, two, let's just start. Okay, spinning. You should always be mindful of which way this is spinning, because it's going to throw shit your way. Hence the reason you wear the stuff. Always be careful of stupid shit like that. Don't be a dumbass. Put your freaking hand on it. See, even us professional, I ain't no professional, believe me. I am the furthest thing from a professional. Here we go again. One second. Yeah. Ow! Grabbed a beard here. That hurt. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, but we have turned these steel little wires successfully brown. Congratulations! That's what my that's what I was trying to do. No, just kidding. Like I said before, if you didn't hear me. Use your handle, wear your gloves. Perfect day, perfect example of what not to do. Okay, quit trying to show off, be cool. Think you're better than everybody else. You ain't. Yeah, we're all different. We're all snowflakes. But somebody's gonna miss you if you die, right? I mean, somebody's going to miss you. Somebody's going to laugh at you if you die doing stupid stuff like I just did. But somebody else is going to miss you probably after they get done laughing at you, I'm sure. So, use, your, use all your precautions. You wear a hat, eye protection, ear protection. I got to change the pads out on these respirators. <clears throat> so,
that's how the wire wheel works. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to, ah, there I am, hi. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that uh, paint and rust removing disc on there. See if that doesn't do any better. Cause I don't know if y'all can see this. Man, I'm ugly cuss. It did a pretty decent job, but that over there was done with a 60 grit sanding wheel a week ago. Almost exactly a week ago. So yeah, this is just a little bit that I was playing with and it seems to have taken off the surface rust, but yeah, there's still rust on there. Let me find a clean finger. That is a clean finger. There is still rust. We don't like rust. Rust is bad. Rust is cancer. Rust eats metal. I need to trim up my nose hair. Don't mind my nose hair. Let's go back to the trailer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, change that out for that black disc. I'll be right back. Well, we have hit a snag. I need to get a wrench. Take this sucker off. I've never used a wire wheel before. Usually I use my grinder for grinding and cutting. Never for stripping. If I'm using it for stripping, do I have to throw dollar bills at it? Just wondering. So we have to walk down to the headquarters down here. Don't worry about the cardboard. It'll be gone. Just waiting for the wind to die down a little bit. All right. That's my toolbox. Now, actually, I got a pretty good deal on that. I think I picked that up for... Uh, it was less than 80 bucks. It was on sale. The only problem is, I found out why it was on sale. 